Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. I've been receiving quite a few requests to create tutorials on Power Automate and I thought I will kickstart today by creating one of the tutorials which will help you copy attachments from your mailbox to locations like SharePoint or SFTP or your OneDrive. So in this tutorial, we will make use of the Microsoft's Copilot AI feature which is integrated within the Power Automate now. So let's see how we can is our life by using copilot here so what i will here do is i'm just going to describe what is it that i am looking to automate for example i'm going to say pull attachments from outlook to onedrive you can also do sharepoint or you can also do sftp I'm, in this case i'm just going to do onedrive i'm going to select here so it's going to create an automated flow for me so I'm just going to click here on next and then I'm going to review my connected apps and services. If, if you have not entered the credentials already or connected to your Outlook or OneDrive, you will have to define or enter those credentials over here. In this case, I have already connected to my Outlook and OneDrive. I'm just going to click on next. And then on this section over here, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to click on create flow. So once the flow is created over here, I'm going to click on the first step, which says when a new email arrives. Now, this is the trigger for the Power Automate to run this particular flow and then move or copy the file from your mailbox to the desired location. It could be SharePoint or your OneDrive or your SFTP, right? Now, it has automatically selected attachments as yes only with attachments also yes because we said that we need to move attachments from your mailbox to the onedrive folder and now i will have to define new parameters how do i want to filter to that particular attachment which i want to move from my mailbox to your sharepoint right because i might be receiving a lot of different attachments to my mailbox but Power Automate should only pick up those attachments that we want to move from or copy from your mailbox to the SharePoint. In this case, I'm going to use the subject filter. There are different filters here that you can choose from. You can define a particular mailbox from whom the email is coming from. And there's also two and CC option here, which you can use, or you can also define a rule in your Microsoft Outlook so that a particular, when a particular email arrives, it is moved to a certain folder. And when that particular folder is, receives a new email, this particular Power Automate task will trigger. Now in this tutorial over here, I'm going to use the subject filter. So my subject filter here should contain subject called as sales data. So any email that arrives to my mailbox, which contains sales data in my subject, Power Automate will automatically pick up the attachment from that email and move that or save that to my OneDrive location. So now I have done this. Now the next step here is for me to click on create file step and enter some of the details. The first section over here is the folder path. So this is where you can click on the open folder over here and then navigate to the folder where you want the file to be saved. In this case, I need the file to be saved to my MI Tutorials folder and then the, there is a file name so you will you can define the file name as well but in this case i will choose or go ahead with the file name which is there in the attachment i don't want to rename the file so what i will do is i'm going to type in backslash over here and then click on insert dynamic content alternatively you can also click on this icon over here which will take you to the same section and over here i'm just going to click on see more and then scroll down here and select attachments name so attachments name will be automatically picked up from the file that has come to your mailbox and then the next section here is file content i'm going to click on this particular icon over here and then click on see more let me scroll down and choose attachments content so this will automatically pick up the attachment content or the file from that particular mail and now that's it we are done all I have to do is click on save this flow. Once this particular flow is saved, I can now test this flow. There are two ways where you can test this flow. One is you can do manually and then you can also set automatically for this particular flow. Since we are doing this for the first time, uh, we will have to do this manually. Once this flow is successful, 
and then Power Automate can set this up to do automatically whenever a new email arrives. So now I'm going to click on test. So what this is now saying is to see it work now, perform starting an action, which means that our mailbox should receive the email with the subject sales data. I'm going to quickly send an email to my mailbox here with the attachment and the subject line which says sales data and then I'm going to click on send. So as you can see over here, our flow has ran successfully. It has only taken 0.3 seconds to trigger and then 0.8 second and 0.5 second to move that file to our OneDrive location. Now let's head over to my OneDrive and now you can see that the attachment which contained image table.csv file has already been created in my location. So with just a couple of clicks within Power Automate, you will be able to automate your workflow of copying the attachments from your mailbox to your desired location. So let me know in the comment section how you like this tutorial and also please drop in comments to let me know what are the different kind of flows that you would like to see on my channel. So that's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.